Hi there, it's Christy. Um, I just wanted to, let's see, I'm day seven pre-op. Yay! And ah, all at the same time, like that's how I'm feeling. Like one minute I'm totally excited, and the next minute I'm like totally freaked out. Um, yeah, it's real. And um, I'm leaving for Denver tomorrow, and I'm nervous. Um, for when I get back, but um, I feel ready, and I think next week, like when I get back from Denver, I should have all my stuff that I've ordered, and um, I can show you kind of what I have products-wise for like the first two weeks, because remember, that's all I'm focusing on, <laughs> um, but tonight I just wanted to talk about support. Um, I just come home and like I watched a video about something. I think the videos are actually good and bad because um, you get like really, it's like the real stuff from people and everyone's having such different experiences and you don't know really what you're going to have and how it's going to be like the hair loss. Um, I didn't know about that. I don't know if I missed that somewhere in my pamphlets or orientation or something, but um, I'm sure it was somewhere I just didn't know about it and so watching all these videos about hair loss it's like freaking me out because my hair even though I wear it up all the time um freaks that freaks me out at least it'll grow back but um you know and there's worse things I could be fat the rest of my life um <laughs> so I'll take the hair loss but it still was kind of eye-opening to me and kind of shocking and um sorry there's like a light super in my eye um anyways uh I came home to talk to my husband about it and he just like laughed and said don't worry about that just take your biotin like he thinks he knows and I just uh I don't know I just feel like sometimes you just don't have the right support like you just like no one gets you except like YouTube people that have done the surgery so I just want to talk to you hello, can you call me? Because I'm like stressed about stuff. I need to talk to somebody. Because sometimes like talking into a camera isn't quite doing it. Um, anyways. <laughs> so, um, but let's talk about other support. Because YouTube is a huge support. Uh, if you haven't noticed already and if you're not feeling the love, uh, it is a huge support. And thank you for everyone that's watched the videos and that has commented. Please comment because it helps me um, deal with things and I think we're all going through different things but kind of the same. Um, so, but I did a blog post about this on my blog, uh, The Skinny on the Sleeve, and it was just about like talking about stuff and who you should talk to and mine was more about the decision making process. Like, I first talked to, um, about my video yesterday, I talked to a friend and she was the one that kind of got me going on it. Um, and then I told a friend, um, and she totally supports me 100%. Um, and she put me in touch with somebody else that had surgery. So I interviewed that person. Then I told another friend and she put me in touch with someone that had it. So it's almost like everyone that you tell might know somebody that has it. So it's kind of actually good even though I really wanted to keep it a secret until I got approved and everything, there was a few people I told, and by telling them, I was able to talk to other people that actually had the surgery or different, they, they all actually had bypass, but it was still very helpful, and um, my number one fear was, am I going to gain it back? And all of them, like two of them, one was eight years out, one was ten, and they had kept most of it, most of it off. So... I'm not scared of gaining a little weight back. I'm scared of gaining it all back. Um, and so I think we all are, but the reality is if you use it as the right tool and keep doing the things you're supposed to be doing, that um, it will work. And that's what I pray for every day. So um, anyways, and then support, you know, I started blogging. Um, I have a blog on the call the skinny on the sleeve blogspot.com and that really helped me that was definitely just for me to write through feelings and um, I don't even know if anyone's looking at it but it doesn't matter it helped me to get through some 
just times where I needed to make the decision and it helped me talk through a lot of feelings. It helped also a few of my friends when I told them and family when I told them. I sent them to the blog and said, here, read about what I'm going through and the decision I'm making and you can read, I have information about the surgery on there and the differences between all three and um, so that really helped me. That was kind of supportive for myself. Um, and uh, another great form of support is the support groups where you're having your surgery. Just ask them, um, ask them if there's a support group or find a friend or find someone here on YouTube in your area um, to talk to that can kind of be a support for you. Um, because, or, you know, I was thinking just now, there might be a meetup group, like bariatric or weight loss surgery patient meetup group. That might be a good one. Um, but my my center is, like, connected to a hospital who also has their own weight loss program. So they kind of, like, pair both weight loss centers together. And then we have one support group, and it's at the hospital every month. That was a huge help. That's where I met um, Nerd in Oregon. And I think I've mentioned her in every video. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Um, or maybe that's good. So anyways, I met her. I also met another girl named Susan. And she's having her surgery the day after me. And I think Sarah's having hers the day before. So we're kind of like sisters in this connected somehow. So that really helps to have someone that lives in my area that I can talk to and see every month and see how they're doing. Um, and also the psychologist or psychiatrist... I don't even know the difference. Um, Dr. Veith, he was awesome. And he actually had a lap band surgery like 10 years ago. So he was a really great support. And he um, actually attends the support group. They rotate psychiatrists every month. There's a different one. And so Dr. Veith was there last month. And it's nice hearing from him that he's a psychiatrist and he had, the, had a lap band surgery. And he's kept it off. So... That's also a great resource and support. Um, I'm just having a hard time with my like in-house support here at home. Even though he's a wonderful husband and wonderful father, um, he just doesn't get it. And I don't know how to get him to get it. I just want to talk about stuff without him solving it. I think this is more of like men are from Mars, women are from Venus type of issue. Probably. There he is right now. Anyways, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.